joining Miss Randall's class. Good morning, Miss Lane. Sits Day Read is a nonprofit literacy organization, and we bring volunteers with and without their dogs into Chicago public schools to help kids get better at reading. We work with first through fourth graders on improving their literacy skills. Our curriculum was developed in partnership with the UIC Center for Literacy. So we know that it's work that supports what is going on in the classroom every day. Our kids work in small groups with their book buddies, and then they also work one-on-one -on -one with a dog team. And everything is dog focused, so all of our books have dogs in them, the kids write about dogs, they get to interact one-on-one -on -one with dogs right there in their classroom. So it creates a really whole learning experience for them. I have something very special for each of you. It's your books of stories. Yes. The ones that yes. you have been working so, so hard on. These children in low-income schools with low reading scores are struggling in their ability to learn how to read. And so they have a lot of anxiety. So by having the dogs just present, it shows a decrease in blood pressure, and then they can focus on the skill of learning to read. The very first week, we go all over dog safety, just making sure that they allow themselves to always have positive interactions and therefore cement their love for the animals. The typical middle income student comes into the first grade with a thousand hours of being read to. However, a low income student comes into the first grade with only 25 hours of being read to. We come into the schools and give one-on-one -on -one attention to these students who might not otherwise have that. And that repeated practice with age appropriate books is amazing and makes a huge impact. Super dogs, dog and stories, written and illustrated by Hakeem. I read Lulu Snow Dog Adventures and it is fantastic to read to a six-day read dog. And when I grow up, I want to have a dog. I absolutely see a difference in confidence when they're reading to the dogs, especially just reading out loud in general. The nice thing about Lulu is when she's so excited, her tail's always wagging. So the moment the kids start speaking, her tail starts wagging and we can point to that being like, you're doing such a great job. On the days that the students are aware that Sis They Read is coming, I usually have the best behavior ever. And I love it because they are so excited just to have the dogs here. I have some students that when they first came in September, they were reading like maybe 24, 25 words a minute. And now those same students are reading over 50 words a minute. And I can definitely see it in my own classroom. And I think that emotionally it helps them because it gives them that sense of pride and it helps build them. I did this all by myself. We recently carried a study with Loyola and we found a 48% increase in reading fluency in our students. And that's amazing, over an eight week period to go into the classroom once a week and see these huge changes in reading fluency. Sit, Stay, Read comes at no cost to our partner schools and we would like to be able to bring our programming to all the students in the city of Chicago and that's possible. Our curriculum is scalable, and so we're always looking for more relationships with people that can lead to more funding for Sit, Stay, Read, and to more volunteers in our programs so that we can bring Sit, Stay, Read to as many schools and as many classrooms in the city of Chicago as will have us. Kids who were afraid of dogs aren't anymore, and kids who were afraid of reading aren't afraid of reading. And what could be better than that? I'm Susan Noyes, founder of Make It Better, and we are delighted that Sit, Stay, Read won the 2014 Philanthropy Award for Education, sponsored by Nancy Searle. Science proves that the mere presence of dogs has an anti-anxiety effect on children. By bringing dogs into underserved elementary schools and letting kids read to them, Sit, Stay, Read provides a non-judgmental audience that inspires confidence in the students. What an inexpensive, simple, and oh-so-smart strategy.